Hey gang, today the gloves are on as opposed to the gloves being off. As we look at our next installment of Good or Gimmick, and today we're looking at the heavy bag. So um, sometimes you get emails, people are like, hey, I noticed you have a heavy bag in the Revolution Gym. Um, is that for training? Like, do you work with MMA fighters or what's that for? Um, I don't work with MMA fighters. Um, it's not my area of expertise, not my area of specialization. But I do get hockey players hitting the heavy bag, really whether they're a fighter or not. Um, and the reason I do is, because I like that it requires a lot of stabilization through the torso, through the hips, as there's an impulse. And even that generating that quick jab, you know, it's not just an upper body thing. It's sort of getting those hips to come around, locking the torso and firing through the upper body. So I find that really beneficial. The other thing I love about it is that the players love it. So if I can, we will often work it into our metabolic circuits. Um, and so if I can have them working like crazy for 20 seconds, beating the daylights out of this bag, getting that quick, quick hip firing, stabilizing while they're taking shots, and they have a huge smile on their face and sweat dripping off them, then we're all pretty happy. So um, I like it. It's not a must have. It, it wouldn't be the first thing I'd run out and buy if I were starting a new training center, but I really love having it in the gym. Couple of things to think about. Um, Think about wrist position. So if you're going to use the heavy bag, make sure you learn a little bit about proper technique and that people are punching with a flat wrist. Get some proper gloves um, so that they're not going to be cutting their knuckles open. Um, if you hit a bag and you don't keep a flat wrist, you can actually fracture bone, bones in your wrist. So you want to make sure that it's safe for them. And then we mess around with the pattern. So you know we might tell them, well, you're going to do jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, or mix it up, or just have them go rapid fire, go to town. Um, the other thing we do sometimes is have them go half kneeling position or tall kneeling position if we want to sort of make their torso do a little bit more work. So those are some variations. Heavy bag, good or, good or gimmick, it's good. It's a definite nice to have. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com, where my mission is to help 10,000 players win more games <laughs> with fewer injuries, even if you don't have the natural ability or the genetic gifts of your competitors. Happy boxing, gang.